The song suggestion for this video was left in a comment by Daisy Harvey, thanks for the idea, I hope everyone enjoys the concept I created for it, and doesn't hate me for a certain relationship that this video opens with, please just give it a chance I promise this is Baku Deku. Any gaze, on to the video, this story starts with class 1A now being class 3A, they're all having a party and many of them are beyond tipsy. Yurika had asked Deku out a few weeks earlier, and the poor boy had said yes in hopes that dating her would somehow squash his feelings for a certain blonde boy. Come on Deku you don't have to be shy, your girlfriend is fucking hot, look at her, guys I just, I'm not good with stuff like this, if you can't even compliment your girlfriend when she's dressed up so damn good then, Deku I'm afraid I've lost all hope for you, face palm. Girls it's okay, I know Deku-kun is just shy, don't worry about it. I'm sorry Yurika, you do look nice I just. Nice? Oh no not that word. It's fine, it's not Deku's fault. I'm sorry, I'm gonna go get some air. Deku rushed away from the group of girls, heading toward the back but bumping into some of the guys, deciding this would be a much better conversation. But after just 10 minutes of talking Tsu was tugging on his hoodie from behind. Ochako-chan isn't feeling well so Yomomo is going to drive her home. Oh, where is she? They're just out front now, Kiro. Deku followed her to Momo's car and saw Yurika curled up on the back seat. What's wrong? I'm just tired, and had too much to drink, come back with me Deku-kun? Deku stepped back and blinked, avoiding eye contact and clearing his throat. Well I kinda wanted to stay at the party a little longer, I hope you feel better soon though. Oh, that's okay, I'll see you tomorrow then? Yeah, get back safe? He closed the car door and awkwardly rushed away, feeling guilty and ashamed with himself. He didn't even head back into the house, instead deciding to head round the side to the garden, immediately spotting Bakugo sat alone on a bench. Great, from one problem straight to another, but obviously I wanna go sit with Ka-chan, fuck my life. He hesitantly walked toward where Bakugo was sitting, making the boy look up and frown a little as they made eye contact. I come out here to be alone and of course you show up. Oh, sorry I can go somewhere else if, just sit down, I was kidding dumbass. Deku gulped but took a seat on the bench beside him, holding his sweater paws tighter as the outdoor chill hit him. Why'd you come out here anyway? Oh uh, Yurika had to head home cause she's not feeling great, I dunno I was getting a little overwhelmed with everything, needed some air. What? You didn't even go to look after your girlfriend? The words felt like a punch to Deku's chest, he tilted his head back to look up at the stars and laughed at himself. I'm so pathetic, I couldn't even compliment her. All the girls were saying how she'd bought this new dress to look good for me, it's so weird Ka-chan I have no idea how I'm supposed to feel but, I just panic. Bakugo stayed silent, just listening to Deku as he vented his problems, until he started noticeably shivering. Jesus it's cold out here. How are you sat there with no jacket? I can pretty easily keep myself warm with my quirk. Well I'm jealous. Deku curled in on himself, lifting his feet onto the bench and wrapping his arms around them. Bakugo shook his head with a laugh, shuffling closer and pulling Deku against him. Come here stupid. He held him close in attempt to warm Deku up, it worked because the boy was immediately blushing and getting hot with embarrassment. If you're so cold why don't you head back inside? I can't leave now, not when I'm literally cuddling with Ka-chan. But, the music is too loud. Come on it's a party what do you expect? I know but like, the air is super thick in there, and, what if they're playing a party game they're scary? Cha, sure make all the excuses you want, you just wanna stay with me huh? Bakugo teased and wiggled his eyebrows, making Deku whine embarrassedly and bury his face into the boy's chest. Hmm, you smell nice Ka-chan. They regressed into a comfortable silence, Bakugo keeping hold of Deku as he gradually finished off his beer. Hey, you're cute and all but it's only a matter of time before someone comes looking for us, let's head back in, I need another beer anyway. Deku cursed inwardly that this moment had to end, but stood up with Bakugo anyway, heading back inside. Thanks for letting me sit with you Ka-chan, and for keeping me warm. Of course. And the party continued. A few days later. Fuck. Quick, if you're any slower Yurika will get mad you're late just hurry up. Deku checked himself in the mirror one final time before grabbing his bag and rushing out of his dorm, immediately bumping face first into a sturdy chest. Whoa, watch where you're going, huff. Sorry Ka-chan, why were you in such a hurry? Bakugo looked him up and down. Dressed up like that, you going on a date? 
Aya, I'm going to see a movie with you Erika. Ah, you look good. Deku flushed red and panicked, that was a compliment. Surely that meant he could say something back? Come on think of something, you have to compliment him back to make it less awkward? He's so hot, fuck you can't just say that? OMG his legs look so good in those jeans. Ah, your jeans fit really good Ka-chan where did you get them from? Not that I could pull them off as well as you do but. He was cut off as Bakugo burst into laughter. The sound rang in Deku's ears and set his heart thumping so hard in his chest. Damn Deku, just go enjoy your date. Deku noticed the little blush on his cheeks as he rolled his eyes, walking round him to continue down the hall. Shit, date. He rushed downstairs to find Yuriko waiting by the dorm's entrance, her face lighting up when she saw him. Deku-kun, I'm so excited for the date, ga you look so handsome. Ah, thanks. You look nice. Yuriko's smile didn't falter as she leant forward to press a kiss to Deku's cheek, taking his hand as they left the building. Did you see Yuriko waiting by the door? Yeah, it's so weird. You think so too? What's weird? The fact that her and Deku are dating. Why is that weird? Well, it makes me feel like such a bad person but, I was so sure Midobro was gay. Oh for sure he's totally gay? Well obviously not idiots he has a girlfriend. Maybe he's bi, but, he just acts so different around the girls, like yeah sure he gets flustered sometimes but I never got the vibe it was because he was attracted to any of them? Exactly, he just never knew what the right way to act was, unless they were babying him because he's such a soft little baby boy that he can't even resist that from the girls. Tihi. All right, that's enough. You're literally talking nonsense. Huff. No, seriously, Baku bro. There was this one time I was just coming back from working out and he stopped me in the hall to ask how much I could lift. When I told him, he stared at my biceps for longer than any straight guy would, and he was literally the color of a tomato. Cha, okay, now you've really lost it. There's no fucking way the nerd is into you, shitty hair. Well, duh, he's into you. What? Wait, that would actually make a lot of sense. In what universe does that make any sense at all? Come on man it's so obvious? Then why the fuck would he be dating Yurika? Alright alright let's just drop it, Bakugo makes a good point, none of us should be assuming anything, especially since Midoriya literally has a girlfriend. I guess, yeah. Wah, it was a good movie wasn't it Deku-kun? It totally was. Ga the main character was so cool, didn't he remind you of like, a friendlier Ka-chan? Really? Oh, I didn't really see it at all. But he was so powerful, the end fight really made me picture, you know the exams we had last week. Ka-chan was so cool, the way he organized and led his team, he's improved so much and he's so smart. Well, you did great too though Deku. I think the main character was more like you. She attempted to change the subject and reached forward to hold Deku's hand as they walked. But as soon as they touched Deku panicked and stopped rambling, immediately feeling all nervous and uncomfortable. Ah, thank you. Thankfully it wasn't long till they reached the dorms, and Yuriko let go of his hand. Thank you for the date Deku-kun. Sure, it was fun. Did you wanna study together for the test tomorrow? Oh uh, I need to tidy my room actually so I can't. But don't you need to study? I did this morning. Ah, uh, see you tomorrow. He bowed his head before doing a 180 and rushing off, leaving Yuriko to sigh in defeat. Oh honey. She turned and spotted her girlfriends sat on the couches by the entrance, Mina holding her arms out for a hug. I don't know what to do. You shouldn't have to do anything. But Midoriya is shy, I think if you want anything more from him you're going to have to be the one to initiate it. But I try. I've kissed his cheek a few times, I hold his hand, I compliment him all the time. Have you talked to him about it? No. Oh Chako-chan, you deserve better. I never would have thought that Deku would be such an unaffectionate boyfriend. I feel like we were closer when we were friends than we are now. Am I doing something wrong? No, that's it, you need to talk to him, it's not fair that he's making you feel like this even if he doesn't mean to. Jiro's right, you should go talk to him now, all he's doing is tidying his room he can spare a minute to hear his girlfriend's troubles? Yeah, yeah, you're right, I'll go and ask him what's going on, thanks you guys. I just hope he stops hurting you. I know he doesn't mean to. He's an amazing person he wouldn't want to hurt me, I'll go talk to him. She marched up the stairs, trying to hide how terrified she was by putting up a confident exterior. But everything faltered when she heard Deku's voice in the hall as she reached the top of the stairs. So how did the date go? Ah uh, the movie was good, you should see it Ka-chan. It's funny the main character is a lot like you. What makes you say that? 
Well he's so confident and cool. It made me wanna see you fight again though Ka-chan. Are you free right now? Hmm, I was just gonna go work out. Come and train with me? Yuriko frowned from behind the corner. So one minute he's busy and the next he's begging to spend time with Bakugo? Cha I'll just beat you up. Oh come on, it's been a while since we fought. I am glad we don't argue so much anymore Ka-chan but I kinda miss fighting with you. You miss getting your ass beat? Come on Ka-chan, I wanna take the opportunity to learn from you, pretty please. Fine fine stop begging damn, you know I was gonna say yes as soon as you asked dumbass. The two boys headed back down the hall, toward where Yuriko was hiding. She panicked and hid in the closet opposite her just as they came past. All she could hear was Deku gushing about how amazing Bakugo was, and had this mental image of her boyfriend's wide sparkly eyes. Once they were gone she stepped out the closet, frowning as she took a deep breath. Yuriko? Huh? The girls all came rushing up the stairs with concerned expressions. We just saw Deku leave with Bakugo, what happened? I didn't even talk to him. I came up and heard them talking and, Deku likes Bakugo, doesn't he? What? No way he's with you? But he always liked Bakugo, I knew that before I even asked him out. He wouldn't have agreed to be with you if he wanted to be with Bakugo, right? They all went quiet until Yuriko let out a breathy laugh. I'm stupid. No you're not Ochako-chan. Deku is the stupid one for doing this to you, huff. No no really, I don't blame him at all, and you know, part of me is a little relieved. What? Why? Well I thought I was doing something wrong, that I must have been a bad girlfriend, but, he just likes guys. Oh sweetie. They all hugged her as she came to terms with everything, of course she was upset, but she understood. It must be hard for Dekuchin actually, having feelings like that for someone like Bakugo. Yeesh, true, I don't think he's ever shown interest in anyone. Except Deku. Do you think, you could talk to Bakugo about it? Bakugo? Why? Do you think he even knows? I'm sure he has an idea. Well we've gotta figure out how he feels about all this either way. I suppose you're right, maybe I should message him. Ha, down again nerd. I'm tired. Both boys were panting heavily after a long fight, but Bakugo had Deku trapped against the ground, hands round his wrists and legs pinning him down. You're so strong Kachan. Deku gasped, looking up to Bakugo with hooded eyes and rosy cheeks. Stop acting, I know you were going easy. What? No I wasn't? Bakugo let him go and stood up, chest still heaving as he went to grab some water. Deku stood up after him in a rush, blushing harder as he tried to defend himself. Really Kachan you beat me fair and square. He was cut off as the blonde boy turned and pinned him to the wall, barely holding him tight at all. But as Deku went practically limp in his hold, just allowing himself to be manhandled with no resistance, Bakugo felt his insides twisting. What are you like, hmm? I don't know what you're talking about. If you could see yourself you would. They maintained eye contact as they slowly caught back their breath. He's so close, his strong arms, the sweat on his cheekbone, fuck. Their faces were mere inches apart, and Bakugo's eyes seemed to be delving into Deku's soul. Until his phone dinged. Deku gulped and blinked as Bakugo pulled back, releasing him to grab his phone. Your girlfriend just texted me. Girlfriend. Deku's eyes widened and his heart started racing again. What the fuck am I doing? I'm in here flirting with Kachan. I can't even act like I wasn't I wanted him to kiss me so badly? Fuck. What is wrong with me? I'm sorry Kachan. I, I should go. What? He looked up in shock but Deku was already leaving. He watched his back rushing away until the gym doors closed behind him. He frowned in confusion before looking back down to reread Yuriko's message. I think we both know Deku likes you. What makes you say that? Please don't act dumb with me Bakugo, it's okay, I don't hate you, or Deku, I just wanted to talk to you about it. Okay well, what makes you so sure? I mean he's dating you isn't he? And he's not said anything to me. I know but, come on it's pretty obvious Bakugo. Yeah, I guess it is. The only thing I'm upset about is that he'd, I guess lead me on like this? I don't think that's what he's trying to do at all, I mean to me it's pretty clear he hates hurting you. Are you still with him? No, I told him you messaged and he freaked out and ran away, he feels really guilty. Yuravati added Pinky to the chat. Bakugo, please 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 let us prank him? What? Apparently Jiro knows a song that fits our situation too perfectly to not prank Deku with it. 
Are we 12 years old? Come on, stop being a party pooper at least look at the lyrics. Just as he read the text another message came through from Jiro, the lyrics to the song. He read them over and laughed a little. I mean, it is weirdly perfect. Exactly? I mean if you are Bakugo, you realize he'll get so embarrassed right? He deserves it after this mess he's made. Fine, sure I'm in. In the problem children group chat. You've never asked me to help you study Kaminari, if you asked I would help. I didn't wanna ask and be annoying. Tenya helps a lot of us with studying. Sorry to cut in on your conversation but at Isuka please may you come to the chat. Why are you calling Deku? Cause we need to talk to him. Oh god Kachan I'm sorry for rushing off like I did, I really enjoyed training with you. Training? I thought you were tidying your room? Fuck I'm so sorry Eureka. I bumped into Kachan and got completely distracted. I totally forgot I even needed to tidy my room I didn't mean to brush you off and then go off with Kachan. I'm such an awful person. You're not awful Midobro. Maybe just a little confused about some things. Now is not the time for your wag theories dude. Showed up in a tight dress, can you be helpless all night? Yeah and she looked bomb AF in it too. Is this about the party? I'm really sorry I just got overwhelmed. But you didn't notice, really drove it home for the last time. I mean honestly I can't remember what anyone wore to that party. I think it's pretty normal to be quite unobservant to some things. Thanks Todoroki-kun but it's my bad, I should have been able to at least say something without being pressured into it. Yeah I mean despite Deku not caring about dresses he sure pays attention to jeans. Shut up dunce face. Ka-chan? Of course not, I never wanted to make you feel that way oh my god I'm so sorry. It's almost a relief, there's nothing wrong with me, I... You're silly for ever thinking that oh Chako-chan. It's not your fault this boy is being silly. I know I love right, keep it tight, I'm a good kisser. I mean, we never kissed. Weren't you dating for like a month? Not everyone likes to kiss. Well. On time, smell nice, don't call he smells nice. Deku where are you I wanna come smell you? Kaminari kun? I don't even do anything I just smell like me I'm so confused. We should be a vibe, something isn't sitting right at night. I mean I think I know why, he feels so smart. What is even happening right now, Eureka do you want me to come and talk? We can talk privately? He's uncomfortable. Deku there is no escaping this. Maybe we should stop, yeah I know it's not a choice, baby tell me if I'm wrong, I just think you like a boy. Huh? He totally does? Obviously? Don't say it like that, think how Eureka feels. You two really have no restraint. Sipping gin and tonics, didn't feel platonic that night. Ka-chan? The party? Not platonic, hmm? Isn't it ironic? That's your girl, that's a bell, I can tell that you don't mind. That's not true, I was worried about her. There's no use lying Deku. Boy, you're not the hot to hate when you ask him about my jeans, ah. Told you, they just fit really well. So you were looking? Something about your energy makes me think you're into me, ah. Ka-chan, I have a girlfriend. Who you don't treat like your girlfriend. If you don't want to be with her you never had to meet Oriya. But, we were such good friends and she asked me out and I thought that maybe. I know I love right, keep it tight, I'm a good kisser. When have you ever kissed anyone? <laughs> True. So he hasn't kissed anyone? Why does everyone think he smells nice? This isn't fair Deku I need to smell you. I don't know. We should be alive, but something isn't sitting right. I know I'm not very affectionate I just don't know what I'm supposed to do. And when people tell me it just, doesn't feel right. Look Eureka I'm sorry for everything, I really didn't mean for things to happen this way at all. He's dying. I told you he wouldn't handle it well. Why did you all just come in here to attack him? I deserved it. Your feelings aren't your fault Midobro. But agreeing to date Eureka was wrong, and he knows it. I know, but I promise I didn't have bad intentions. I really thought that because we were so close maybe dating her would make my other feelings go away. Other feelings, we all know who you're talking about Deku. Starts with K ends with Achan. 
Well that was the problem. It turns out that I'm so not into girls at all that this whole thing just had the opposite effect and made me want nothing more than to run to Kachan any chance I could. I'm literally the most awful person ever. Deku-kun, I don't hate you, but you should, I'm so sorry. I enjoyed getting to be in a relationship with you for even just a month. Thank you for the fun times. Whoa, that's really big of you Yuruka. Honestly she's a better person than me. I deserve for you to be so mad at me. But I get it, I feel about you, how you feel about Bakugo, it can't be helped. Oh god but now Kachan knows, I'm sorry for making it awkward? I've really loved how close we've gotten I don't wanna go back to how we used to argue and fight. Stop being so dramatic damn. It's okay that you don't like me back, I never expected anything anyway that's why I tried to move on, I'll keep trying, just maybe I need to accept I can't date girls. Well I hope you know who to call if you wanna try something else, flirty wink. Back off shitty hair, Deku, first off, you're an idiot. Why would you ever think it's a good idea to date someone you have no feelings for to try and get over someone else? I thought you were smart. I don't know I'm not smart I'm stupid I'm the biggest idiot ever, sobbing. Secondly, how dare you assume my feelings? Oh ho ho this is getting interesting. Getting? It's been interesting. Wait Kachan what do you mean? Thirdly, you need to actually see a doctor, for your brain and for your eyes, if you haven't realized I like you too. Face palm. What? You do? I didn't think it was very obvious. Sweetie nothing is obvious to you, teehee. You want help tidying your room nerd? Oof, my room is tidy, it was just another lie, guilty boy. Damn Deku you really took it far huh? I never thought he'd be the type to lie, my view has shifted, judgmental sparkles. It's not very plus ultra of you Deku. Alright guys come on I think he's had enough telling off, Deku, go follow your real feelings, I promise I'm fine. Really? You're 100% sure? She's sure, somehow, which means none of us are allowed to stay mad on her behalf. Hear that? You're in the clear, so what are you gonna do? I'm gonna stop making excuses for everything, Ka-chan, I wanna talk to you, please could you come to my dorm? See you in a minute. Cats went offline. Yurika, I just want to say sorry once more, I know you say you're not mad, but I know it'll be hard to go back to how things were before, I really hope we can become friends again eventually though. Of course, I'd hate for us not to be. IRL. Deku hopped up to open his door, staring up at the blonde boy who set his heart thumping at double speed. You're sure you weren't kidding, on the chat, right? You're serious about, liking me? Oh that, well I'm just here because, you know the hallway is too loud, the air out there is so airy, and well I have to stay in here because if I don't who knows aliens might come down and... Haha <laughs> very funny I get it Kachan I'm an awful liar. Bakugo laughed and reached out to pull him closer, holding his chin as their faces inched together. But he suddenly paused to pull his phone out of his pocket, switching it to silent. There, this time nobody can stop us. Deku melted against Bakugo, even feeling tears spring to his eyes as they kissed. Hey why are you crying you big baby? I never thought this could happen, but Ka-chan I still feel so guilty, I completely used Yurika it was so wrong. Hey, it's okay. Bakugo dropped his playful attitude and pulled Deku into a hug, stroking his hair and shushing him. I know you feel bad but you apologized, you never wanted to hurt her you thought it would work out okay, sometimes our feelings just don't go the way we want them to, but look, Yurika said she was okay, and not to sound super selfish but, I'm here? Is it really okay for me to be with you though? After what I did, I don't deserve it. Alright you're being silly now, you made a mistake and that's all it was, a mistake and you know that and everything is okay now, huff. I'm sorry, I just can't believe everything worked out for me, you actually like me Kachan, you kissed me? Yeah that was like 5 minutes ago now, oh god I felt so guilty I didn't even enjoy it properly. Guess I'll just have to do it again then won't I? But I. No buts, we embarrassed you on the group chat. That's your punishment for making a silly mistake, now you don't have to feel guilty anymore and you can kiss me all you want, huff. I. Bakugo held Deku's hands and slowly pushed him back until he hit the edge of his bed. Kachan this is overwhelming I don't know what to do? Well what do you want to do? Whenever I was with Yuruka, I wanted to run and hide, but now I just, I want to kiss you again. Then let's kiss? Deku gasped as Bakugo pushed him back onto the bed, flushing pink but feeling his stomach swirl with butterflies as they drew closer and closer. They kissed so sweetly, 
soft lips nervously encapsulating one another as they savored the warmth and tender feeling. Deku reached up to run his hand into Bakugo's hair, tilting their heads and kissing him deeper. The blonde boy felt his face heating up as Deku kissed him more desperately, his eyes shooting open as he felt Deku's tongue press between his lips. Hmm. Bakugo's eyes fluttered shut as he melted against Deku once more, reciprocating the heady kiss to the best of his abilities as his mind spiraled further and further into delirium. They kissed this way until their lungs were begging for oxygen and Deku pulled back with a gasp. Oh my god. Jesus Christ you can kiss. I've never done that before, that was amazing. I didn't know you had that in you, to think. Earlier I was arguing with the guys that there was no way you liked me. I think I've always loved you Kachan. Cha, sappy nerd, at least take me to dinner first. I will, let's go. What, right now? Yeah, go on a date with me? Well I, I've never been on a date. So they weren't lying, you really have never liked anyone before? No, it was just you? Humph. Waka-chan I don't know what I did to deserve this but I'm so happy. Deku squealed and rolled them over on the bed, squeezing Bakugo tightly as the blonde boy practically choked. Hey you're gonna kill me? Oh god sorry? I forget my strength sometimes? I knew you were going easy before. Ah, I just, wanted you to pin me down. What the fuck? Don't look at me like that. It's not my fault you have such nice muscles. How about we skip dinner today and just stay here? Ka-chan? OMG this one really took me back to my old videos, when I first started. This was a lot of fun. And it's finally another one part video, hee <laughs> hee. I know my content has kind of evolved since then and I make longer deeper stories now, and I still enjoy that but a little one like this I had so much fun writing. Thanks again to Daisy Harvey for the song suggestion, I hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, love you all so much.